fostering with Bristol City Council when the extraordinary happens. Since the children were placed with us, I can see for them there's been many wins and there's been many benefits. There's a lot more smiling going on in the home, there's a lot more laughter. They've been able to access a full education and attain to the levels met by their mainstream peers. For us, it's made our life a lot busier, it's made our house a lot happier and it's just made life a little bit more fun. I can definitely say fostering has probably been the best job that I've ever undertaken. My name's Beth, I'm 18 and I came into care when I was 12. Now I'm a Care Leaver Ambassador Apprentice for the Council, so that includes supporting other care leavers um, and people just coming up to leaving care. It's helped me in like so many ways, like I think if I didn't go into care I wouldn't have done half of the things I've done. If it wasn't for my foster care, I wouldn't be as independent as I am. Because she's like taught me cooking skills, what well, just like basic life skills I probably would never have learned if I stayed at home. Most important qualities for a person to have to be a foster care is they need to be open, honest, trustworthy, fun. Patient. I think patient's a good one because the children you're going to foster, they're going to all come from different backgrounds. I think if your heart's set in the right place and you really, really want to do it, then go for it because you can change a child's life. You can honestly help someone so much just by fostering them. As long as you're a kind person and you get along with people, I don't see why you shouldn't. It kind of gives you a chance to become who you are as well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good way to put it, actually. So.